When you go for a block like that, what do you see? Do you actually see the block? And two, how hard does that ball hit you? Uh, actually, I just got off the ball real fast. And then once I was coming around the corner, I'm like, okay, I got a chance to get there now. So I just laid out for it. And then uh, when your adrenaline's rushing, you don't really feel it. So like after, uh, my hands actually hurt a little bit. But like during the play, I didn't really feel anything. I was just really excited, actually. Did you hear it? Uh, yeah, I heard it come off the hand. And I was just trying to find the ball. but. I was on the ground just watching to see what happens. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. Um, on that, uh, on the uh, blocked field goal uh, return, Coach kind of mentioned that you took charge in the huddle for the timeout. You know that you wanted to you know, block left and kind of and kind of take over on that play. Um, you know, what what kind of you know what on the special team sort of what did you see there? What kind of made you want to do that? Uh, well, uh, they had a couple extra point tries like earlier in the game, and I'm just looking. I'm like, uh, I, I feel like I can get there. I was very confident. And then um, it was just the perfect situation right before half, uh, get the chance to take points off the board and potentially uh, get points for us. So I seen it and then coach believed in me and they gave me a chance and I waited for it to happen. Jarheep, uh, homecoming. Uh, last year with the COVID, it was, you know, last year was a very odd year. What, what does it mean to be uh, having former alums, former players, former guys in this program who have built Maryland to what it was and what it is coming back? Uh, it actually means a lot, you know, uh, knowing that those guys still support, knowing that those guys still want to be there to uh, support the younger chirps. And then it's uh, an opportunity, actually, for us to uh, just put on the show, get back on track, and then uh, get back to moving in the right direction as a program. Hey, Tardy, um, when, when you're looking at trying to get back on track as a defense, what are some of those small steps that you think you guys can try to make this week to, to have a better performance? Uh, well, it's just limiting uh, the explosive plays. And then we just got to play technically sound as a defense. Like you can't have any missed tackles, any missed cues. You got to know your assignment, know where to line up, and just go, uh, just go play ball. I use quarterback uh, situation as a major question mark. Actually, probably like three in a row in both face. What's it like as a defense preparing for an offense where you don't know exactly who the QB is? You guys are going to need to stop. Uh, well, we, we just have to prepare for all of them, uh, whoever may play. Uh, so we just got to stay one step ahead and then uh, just be prepared for whoever they put in the field, even if uh, more than one of them plays. You just got to be prepared for whoever steps out there. And then you can't uh, not prepare for one of the guys and then they show up and be a uh, starter. So if you're, you're prepared, you, you uh, cover all three of those guys that they have, and we, we should be good. Uh, coach has talked a lot about taking accountability, especially you know after the game on Saturday, and he said a lot of the guys were taking accountability in practice. You know, what were those you know, kind of what were people saying in those in, in those meetings, and that you know for you, what does accountability look like? Uh, well, guys, admitting that they uh, they know they messed up, and those guys, uh, we played with a lot of good effort. Uh, that's, that's never a question, but uh, just technique wise, and then uh, fixing the corrections. So guys actually took a uh, part in uh, actually telling their teammates, you know, I messed up here, I did this. Yeah, and they uh, actually go in and show that they know what to do to make the corrections. You know, just just showing your teammates that even though you messed up, like you can stand up in front of them and uh, and be honest with them. And then that's that's the biggest thing. Really. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.